Hello everyone, this is Schultze, and I would love to give you some tips, tricks, and tactics and ramblings on of XCOM Enemy Unknown. It, in and of itself, is a very fun game. It's very hard, it's for the most part very fair, but there's a few times you I can argue that it's not. And the first thing I'm going to have to say, the first tip I have to strongly get across is when you're playing, you need to... I mean, you need to take your time. Taking your time is very, very, very important. If you go rushing into this, you will be cut down, be it by enemy fire or enemy creatures or whatnot. This is not one of these running gun games. And the most and one of your most important tools is Overwatch. Overwatch is indispensable in this game. I mean, it is something that you should never not forget about. And also, the cover. You see there's cover. Those little symbols of the shield, that's your cover. Very important to always, always try to be in cover. If you're out of cover, you'll take extra damage, and you do not want to be taking extra damage and getting a likelihood to be hit. That is the biggest thing. That when this push comes to shove, getting in cover is crucial and important. And the next thing is once you realize that Overwatch and getting in the cover... Don't be running around. Move bit by bit. You can see this use of Overwatch, even though they don't hit. You're seeing three people engaging a target. Engaging targets that are coming at you. And if any of those hits, that would have helped you out. It would have helped me out immediately. And that's what the biggest importance of, of Overwatch is. Giving support to... Like, you'll see right here. Boom. Overwatch. Bam. You can see... If I wasn't in Overwatch, the guy wouldn't have been taken down. It hurt. This is this is the important of importance of Overwatch. The simple a simple mechanic can easily tip the game in your favor. And I never even thought about it tipping the game in your my favor. And honestly, make sure you have long lines of sight for your. And, and I'm gonna go in deeper class for each class mod uh, in the future, or maybe even now. But but you can see that placement is important. And once everyone is set up, take your shots. You may not, and honestly, taking everyone taking a shot may not be the best uh, best thing to do. Sometimes it might actually be better to put them some, uh, mo have most of them fire and then the rest of them in support or suppression. And you know what? It's a, it's a, it depends on the situation. There is not one situation that will always go for. Sometimes taking the chance and taking engaging the shot. And sometimes that's more important to take the chance. Sometimes it's important to move the characters around. Sometimes it's better to dig them in and let the enemy come to you. It all depends. And the fact that you have to take the game slowly and let everything come to you. Well, not come to you, but let everything slowly happen and try to figure it out. Yes, I know I probably could speed up through the gameplay if I was a little more aggressive. But I liked it because right then there, you see right here, this, this covering fire, missing or not... I'm putting rounds down range when I can, I pretty much, I'm getting an extra shot that I don't have to worry about. And you could, I mean, just right then there. Miss or not, it doesn't matter. I'm putting extra rounds down range that, honestly, if any of those hit, it would, it would be in, immensely in my favor. I mean, you could just see right there. Boom, 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 boom. See what I'm saying? That's, that Overwatch saved my butt, made sure enemies were taken down. And the biggest thing is there's so many different classes of en enemies, and you got to know your enemies, which enemies are meant for hitting f uh, close and fast, taking advantage of their powers, and that's, I mean, and also the biggest thing is the first upgrade you should go for in research is body armor. Body armor is the most important thing to research, because when push comes to shove, you're going to be taking hits, and you want them, your men to survive. You want your soldiers not to be gutted or ripped apart. Because if you if you can't hold these enemies at bay, you're, it, it, the most powerful weapon is not going to matter if you get hit once and you get ripped open. And the fact that you will be hit, these alien creatures can hit. So you want to make sure you hold in. And like these chrysalids, another terrifying creature that if I didn't have the body armor, I would have been ripped open. I would have lost several men. And that's what it, that's my biggest thing. Is even right there, you can see how dangerous these creatures are. One full burst with a laser rifle doesn't fully kill it. I mean, that is a scary propos proposition. Seeing something like this come out of nowhere and attack you, my first thought is, holy crap. 
and never panic. You, this is turn-based, so you have all the time in the world. So think out your shots. Think, do I take out this guy? Do I injure this guy? Do I hurt this guy? And you balance the points when you're playing this. Balance the points, uh, percentages and points thinking, okay, this guy has a higher hit. Let's use this guy. Don't just be going, oh, this will probably work. Oh, this will probably do it because you will be regretting probable thinking oh this will probably work take your time and think and also don't be afraid to reposition because sometimes repositioning your units will help you out a lot because heck right in the, there guaranteed hit and a kill there practically and you'll just i mean little things like this and honestly as you can see respond to the situation don't honestly i know i i responded too much by sending all my units there but as a whole what happened enemy attacked you respond. You should yes. You should be the aggressor and force them to react to you. But since this is a computer game, you're going to have to react to them. The computer has a huge advantage. So you want to you want to immediately quarantine the uh, position and force them to disengage. Force the computer to think, oh crap, this is not working. Let me try a different angle, and then you cut them down. Another uh, good perk of uh, Overwatch. And the other thing is the fact that sometimes special attacks, special weapons may be more important to use on characters because you'll see, I believe right now that I will pull out the um, yeah, the RPG and just put a round down there yes, is that the best move? No it is not but it is a very important thing to think of, okay, it might be better this time to just blow a hole into them and do as much damage as possible and that's the biggest thing is you gotta weigh your situations and you gotta know that these creatures are more dangerous so use high firepower and high damage and the fact that without any extra body armor, these units would have been ripped to pieces. I mean, just ripped open. And that's something that, honestly, you have to realize that these creatures are not going to hand it to you easily. There's a, You are going to be always outgunned and outnumbered for majority of the game. Because you can see right there, if I didn't have that body armor, I'd be gutted. And you can see, these guys are not going to let up. They're going to send as much as they can, taking their cover, supporting their units, just like you're trying to support your men. I mean that's I mean literally that's the thing. You got to choose what's the most biggest threat. And right now, yes, the biggest threat is that damn chrysalid in front of me. And you know what? Using as much firepower and as much damage as possible and blowing the damn thing to pieces is the most important thing to do right now. And now that okay, I've eliminated them. I now have my forward men that I have to think about. Like that guy who's been cut. He's been these, this yellow bar means he's been flanked, and he'll be. They have the the enemy has the advantage, and you want to get. You want to make sure there that the enemy does not have a single advantage whatsoever. Because if they get the advantage, you'll be cut down, and you do not want this in the game because your units will die like hell. And honestly, even with a bodyguard, a body armor upgrades, a simple wound can easily send these men out. Of in game time take of them away for about a week or two and that can mean a big difference because on the harder difficulties you'll be fighting more and more of these aliens and not having your best guys up will hamstring you and you want to make sure these guys can hold their own and you honestly make sure in each personal upgrade you gotta think okay as you can see there's three targets what's the best one and honestly sometimes the best one is not always the one with the um uh, easiest to hit but that is a very good indicator of okay this guy is gonna ha need to be taken down and you can see just flank this one guy take advantage of it boom take the target down and you can see that the small squad based tactics are always focusing on support cover fire and outflanking and dealing massive damage in a short amount of time. These are the major focuses, because honestly, once you get your uh, basic body armor upgrade or your uh, carapace armor and the little under armor that your characters can use, then you can focus on your weapons, because truth be told, you can as long as you hit your target, it won't matter, and these things will come and use their own tactics against you. That these floaters will fly up, because you see, if I didn't have that body armor on, my guy would be would have been cut down. And you can see, even the only, even the enemies will go into Overwatch, and you got to choose what's the best solution. Do I use my sniper, try it from long range? And, I mean, it's a lot of chance. It's, it's a lot of trying to judge what's the best thing. And sometimes, even if you know you won't hit, well, that was a different story it hit. But even if you think it won't hit, sometimes putting that round down range may be better, or you may use an ability. And honestly, always remember... 
use your abilities like this running gun feature. Honestly, I'm rushing. Yes, I'm going to F up, but it's the fact that I'm rushing in, ready to do as much damage as possible. I messed up. I went into the wrong angle, just off by an angle. So what I do, rush them up to Overwatch so that thing starts to cut, try to cut my own men down. I have an advantage, and that's it just forced the advantage on every aspect, every single time you play. And honestly, sometimes you just, just think, and you have more than enough time. It's just even, even just flicking through your units to see where they're placed to double check because you have more than enough time to do this. And you could just see that right then there. Probably not the best move. Put them in Overwatch. So if that thing comes out, I have two people in Overwatch ready to engage. And yet again, now I'll have three. And that's the biggest thing. You got you to plan You got to think your moves through. Because if they have the advantage, you got to force them right then there. They're falling back. The care, the, even the AI knew that it can't engage me, so it fall back, force me to be drawn out, and me to get hurt. And that's the biggest thing, is that you gotta, you got to force them to be out of cover, force them to be hurt. And, and, and I'm just seeing that the biggest tips, body armor. Take it slow. Overwatch and outflank. Very important features, very important tactics that should not be forgotten, that you should not just, oh, go, oh, this is probably fine. Because you could just see right now, I mean, you literally have, you've got all these creatures that you've got to be careful about. And even there, at close range, I miss. It's something that freaked me out, thinking, holy crap, how do I deal with this? So I, it's it's these little things that you got to balance out constantly, your tactics. And honestly... Yes, taking your time may seem it may seem annoying that it's taking an immense amount of time to do this, but you know what? It is sometimes better to take the as long as you can just to double check and making sure you're hitting the right area. Because even right there, chancy and ballsy move, yes, but the fact that you can see, boom, I had the area covered off. Now this next area will be just kind of a, a slow going through, moving these people up, and it's the fact that just think, when you're moving these characters up, what's going to be covering all your other teammates? As I said, overarching lanes of fire, you need to make sure that everyone can cover each other, not leaving a single man or woman out in the cold, because you do not want to have be cut out, because if they come at you, you'll be cut down. And the fact that also you see this the little gun, always remember, when there's a downtime, hit the reload button. Reloading so you don't go, so you don't, your weapon doesn't go dry in the middle of things. Because if it goes dry in the middle of things and you really need it, you will be cut down and you'll most likely lose several units. And that's a scary thing is the fact that I'm not just talking about incapacitate like they were taken down, severely hurt for a round or two. I'm talking about that a single mistake, a single serious mistake can set you back immensely. As you can see, a simple basic tactic, leapfrogging, where everyone moves to cover each other and they're just sending the next guy up and going beyond the next one. And the fact that locking down, and also the biggest thing is uh, locking down corridors. Yes, no one may come out in the next few minutes, but you've but locking down this corridor is a very important thing to make sure that no one's going to come in. I already got two people, so if anyone rushes that door, they're going to be coming through two rounds up, two or three rounds of opening fire. That's the thing, is that knowing your positions, making sure your men in cover, and making sure where if anyone came near you, you have a whole lane of fire that they have to rush through, which gives you, the player, an immense advantage. The sniper may be extremely long range, because if anything came down that hallway, there's a good chance that I could pop off a round, and they're coming down a tunnel system. And the fact that... Also, the other thing is you got to read your terrain. That little walkway that goes up goes over these guys. So truth be told, when I move my guys just to cover the walkway, it's more or less to count. It's the stop if anyone came down that walkway that they couldn't cut down my men easily over here. And this is the other thing. Your own men can hear creatures and monsters in the in the background, and you got to think. Is this a smart move to advance? It gives it gives off the enemy's position, but then you go, okay, how do I d engage? Do I rush in? Do I blitz in? Do I ignore the situation? Or do I just go, or do I take it easy moving up little bit by little bit and being hype? Yes, this time I was overly cautious, but the fact that already taking two, two guys got severely wounded or significantly wounded makes it makes me cautious because I lo I could easily lose these guys if they take a serious hit from any of these creatures and I do not want to lose a single guy there's been there's been missions where the guy just barely made it and he was barely made it and he was out for almost a month of recouping and that's the other thing is the other important thing to pick up 
is the officer tr from the officer officer training is you want to increase your squad size immediately. You want to be able to uh, the field as all the units that you possibly can as soon as possible. After that, you could it could be argued that you can do whatever you want. But I would suggest probably getting heal have your men heal up faster after the health uh, after that because that will really that will really set you in a huge advantage advantage so you don't have to worry about okay my good guy got hit severely but he may have gotten hit I can now have him heal up in half the time which can make a huge difference not just in later games even the beginning game when you start having a couple of people that can actually hold their own it makes a big difference and this is the time I was getting indecisive thinking what I was thinking if someone came from that other angle from that other door they would be cut down I wanted to rush and push be aggressive but I thought this is the other thing. This is a thinking game. Think of it's like a digital chess. And you must think what you're going to do. And honestly, when you get into these things, this thing looks as it is, so alien, so different. It does right to make you feel unnerved. These noises and sounds, the clicking of your boots, does a very good sense to make you feel, holy crap, what am I going through? What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to continue with this later on. I hope you've enjoyed. Please tell me what you think. And I hope this has helped. And I will give you more tips, tricks, and tactics of all my other games and this and whatnot. And I will be continuing on. And thank you, everyone. And good night.